Hello, my name is Tom Persky from Iris Vision Global. I'm the Vice President of Professional and Consumer Outreach for Iris Vision. And thank you for the opportunity for us to speak about this uh, award-winning and leading product uh, for persons with low vision. Hi, Tom. Tell us about Iris Vision and its new features. Iris Vision has uh, been commercialized for o over two and a half years now. We've sold about 3,000 uh, devices, which have been the only device on the market that's been clinically validated through uh, research, for instance, at Johns Hopkins University uh, that showed 85% uh, of persons who are using the device are getting extremely good functional vision and much better quality of life uh, through the product. So we are definitely glad to be a part of that. Uh, my background is uh, I have 35 years experience in the low vision rehabilitation field and we have not seen anything in the low vision field using, uh, in our case, virtual reality system and a platform with the camera and the processor to actually build algorithms for many different eye conditions. We started, of course, with helping those with macular degeneration. Uh, it works terrifically for, for macular degeneration, both you know, up close reading as well as intermediate and distance tasks. Uh, but as we continue to build on that software platform, we've developed uh, first for persons with field restrictions like uh, glaucoma or retinitis pig pigmentosa, that uh, very important image that they're seeing can be now with the touch of a touchpad moved out in virtually out into the area where uh, somebody can uh, see the full field of view only it, but place it in the area where their vision still remains people who live with field restrictions you know they change throughout the day they might be looking at something 30 feet away and then five feet away so on the fly our product for the first time ever in low vision can be changed to help uh, people with th those types of vision conditions. Also the illumination, the contrast, the pupil distance, there's a menu of, of systems within the device um, that can be tailor-made and custom-made for each person. So we can custom make a very s simple device uh, with a few modes and, towards more an intermediate or an advanced system that could help people who are more technical savvy and a, more of an advanced user. Uh, so this, this has been uh, one of our things that now with these upgrades and we keep continuing to make the product better and better. All those upgrades are uh, sent into the system through Wi-Fi to the patient and uh, there's no charge for those. So we're, we've broken the barrier of not having something become obsolete within a short period of time like in the past with, with many uh, low vision devices. Also remotely being able to go into the device and actually troubleshoot. If somebody lives in a rural area, they, we can log in through Wi-Fi and actually fix uh, or troubleshoot the device in, in several minutes. So we as a company have grown to provide these uh, special services uh, in support uh, that come with the device at, at no extra charge. So as we continue to, to build this, we've added some unique features, uh, digital content for instance. So we started with YouTube, so now uh, it's one thing to put YouTube inside a, of a device, but how do you make it simple for someone to use? And so we have a verbal command system. So not only can you just double tap on the side and say, zoom in or zoom out, you could say, search the history of Chicago and the YouTube videos will come up uh, with, with the voice commands. And uh, that's really important for people who want to be able to use it in a simple and e easy way. 
We've also added uh, fe the Alexa feature, so now persons can find out the weather, report in their their time, their date. Um, they can, for the feature, set appointments uh, for, let's say, doctor appointments or whatever, r r right inside the, the device. And so all these features are just making it easier and fun, and as I mentioned, uh, they're up, it's all upgradable uh, at no extra charge. Has there been any changes in the fonts offered or the reading capabilities? For instance, uh, the reading capabilities, one of the biggest uh, changes has been the addition of what we call OCR, or we call it the iris reader. So that if your uh, vision is low, or let's say you're doing lots of reading, and now your eyes are getting tired, you can take a, a book or a letter, and you can take a picture of the text, and it will read it out loud. Uh, and it will also display on the screen uh, the ability to show in very large letters so you can follow along uh, visually. And so that's been a, a, a huge help for so many people who want to do continuous reading or be able to read longer uh, during, the, during the day. Um, these are some of the, the features that I mentioned of, before of adding these uh, modes, we call them, to the device and uh, continue to add those so that in the future uh, people will be able to receive those through a software upgrade. What are some of the new features you're looking towards? We're going in the future uh, very soon and we're working closely right now with Stanford University towards uh, patients who are using the device are going towards a, a telemedicine approach that is uh, through vision monitoring, patients who own the device will be able to um, have their vision tested right inside the device. It's, let's say the right eye test, the left eye. And if there was changes in a person's vision, that data could be sent directly to their ophthalmologist. And um, of course, catching any disease as it changes and catching it early is so important in saving somebody's vision. And so by, uh, with, the, with the telemedicine approach, we now are, are changing the device into something that we believe is going to be, uh, well, no one's done it <laughs> before. And uh, we thought we're, we're the right company and the right platform to be able to do that and be the first to do it well. So we're looking for partners in the future, uh, in the very close near future, to build a system and a network of uh, patient monitoring. So we do work closely now with Johns Hopkins, as I mentioned, Stanford, uh, UPMC, and, and others. And we're also the only company that's been sponsored by the National Eye Institute, which is funding some of these new approaches so that the software continue to, can, to build and get better and better. So what's the price of this amazing little device? The retail price is two thousand nine hundred and fifty, and uh, that's the full the full price. And um, we also recently uh, decided to do a financing program so that persons who may want to um, do a six hundred and ninety five dollar down approach, and then through a credit card maybe like ninety nine dollars a month for a two year plan. Uh, would uh, allow some money maybe who couldn't purchase it all at once uh, be, ab be able to do that. Is there any training or support available for the Iris Vision? Once uh, someone purchases our device, our company is restructured uh, totally into, uh, we've developed a whole training protocol. In our training protocol, we actually have professionals and users of the product. That is, if you purchase this, you're going to be talking with somebody uh, on the phone uh, at least three times during the first several weeks that you have the device. And these persons all have macular degeneration themselves, and they're, I call them the power users of the device. So not only will they be teaching a person the buttons and the touchpad and all the, the technical aspects, but imagine talking to somebody who's already been using it and they found out over time. What we found is that we've, patients who've been using it maybe an hour or two, 
when they first received the device. Over time, over four months, six months, now they're using it three hours a day instead of one, or four hours a day. And they've learned to take it with them and be able to use it in, in, a, in a shopping at the store. Or um, our trainers might talk about that. Take it to a, a concert or a play. Uh, take it to a museum. You can walk into a, a very dimly lit area and be able to use it by brightening up the image and being able to have a, a lanyard that goes around your neck and be able to walk and, and not walk around with it, but be able to carry it into these situations where you're shopping or, uh, or um, you know, seeing your grandchild's play or going out to a, a baseball game or a soccer game. Um, it works great outdoors because of the shield around the device. So you can literally stand in the sunshine and look at an outdoor event. Can someone try this device before purchasing or is there a trial period after purchasing it? The other uh, great thing is we're the only company that allows that person during the, those weeks that they first have it, uh, a full 30 day no risk uh, trial. So. Uh, it's not like they uh, go to a low vision center and only get one hour to decide whether they like it or not. This allows a, a person to have the device in their home, watch TV, look at family members, uh, be able to work in the kitchen and all the things that we hear about that hundreds and hundreds of patients have told us. They say, well, at first I'm not sure I want to use this in public, you know but I can see so well at home that they begin to take it with them first maybe in the car and they can be able to see quite a bit in the car and then they say, wow, I need to be taking this to the store. So they really can uh, take it with them. They can give it the best trial, uh, a 30 day trial. So I tell p patients, be sure to you know structure your life around spending time with this every day in giving it the very best test. And if not, they can return it and there's a no risk, full money back guarantee. There's no restocking fee or shipping fee involved. So we are really committed to making sure that people really like it and use it. So the new, the new uh, version is called Iris Vision Live and all the features that I mentioned um, with, uh, with using it live are, are built into the into the new system and uh, we're still uh, partnering with Samsung uh, Corporation and so we're, we're using the Samsung uh, virtual reality and the, uh, the the cell phone uh, is part of the system and it all comes together with a wireless charger it comes with a, a case uh, the battery lasts about two and a half to three hours but then there's an additional cord that is a magnetic cord, easy for people with low vision to plunk, plunk that in there. And then you can go to, with, to a museum for six or eight hours and use an external battery. Or if you're sitting at home, you can actually plug it into the wall and watch a movie so you don't have to worry about the battery loss. So these are all things that Iris Vision Live offers. And as I mentioned, we've been an honoree at the uh, Consumer Electronics Show Award for Virtual Reality and uh, the backing of the National Institute. So we're, we're proud to be able to do those things and to bring this uh, to uh, what we feel is the leading product in the wearable market. Can this device be used for driving or walking around? So to uh, be able to place this over a person's uh, distance prescription glasses fits over nicely. Um, when you uh, magnify the, the image, of course, now your depth perception is not there. So we do not recommend you walk, go walking with it. But with a lanyard, for instance, if someone wants to uh, take it to the store or go to an art gallery or whatever, that they would just carry it around their neck and then um, they can either bring it up to the eyes when um, they want to, to view a certain uh, items on a, gr on a grocery shelf or a painting on the wall. Um, you can take a few steps if you're going from one painting to another, but it's not really um, 
being able to be used for walking or any movement, especially like driving, uh, of course, because the depth perception would not allow a person. And because the peripheral view is about 70 degrees, you would lose some of your side vision. So um, for driving, it's not appropriate. Do you work with the VA or any other groups that provide financial aid for purchasing this device? I'm glad you mentioned the Veterans Administration because uh, this year, in, in April 1st, we were awarded the federal contract. It's called the F FSS schedule. And so now uh, veterans who um, can get bit low vision rehabilitation service can find out about iris vision and be tested to see if it's appropriate for them. And the, the Veterans Administration uh, decides and, and helps people acquire these uh, at no charge. So that's a part of the, the new federal contract that we've been a, a part of recently. Medi Medicare does not pay for uh, vision aids, of course, or hearing aids, as, as many of us know. Um, so I think in the future, we continue to advocate. And with the new emphasis on maybe te uh, telehealth, being able to monitor uh, somebody's vision and save them, uh, their sight from getting worse, let's say, that's a new category that Medicare may consider in the future. Where can one find more information or purchase this device? Um, it's one uh, website would be www.irisvision.com. They could also call the toll-free number, which is 855 207 6665. We're located in Pleasanton, California, but we do have persons there uh, about 10 or 11 hours a day that are, that are on the phones. So think of Pacific time, uh, about 7 in the morning until about 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time would be the best. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate you sharing this incredible technology with us.